G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to get stuck back into this hot rod. Deadline's coming up quick. I've probably spent the last month not doing a lot. I had a few things going on, including my little dog, which knocked me around a bit. So for a while there, the last thing I wanted to do was come into the backyard because that was her domain. But we're moving forward. And um, right now, I'm in the process of putting my pedal box in. Let's see where I'm up to. Five, four, three, two, one. Is go. <laughs> so there's not a lot of room or options so I've got to work with what I've got. Um, I've mounted the pedal box to the chassis, it's free from the gearbox cross member because we need to be able to take that out to take the engine off. Hang on. Right, oh, where was I? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put an L bracket here with a gusset and that'll hold this side. This is all welded in here and that can be independent so that can be bolted anyhow if that makes sense um, one thing that was in the way and these pedals are really long um, was the starter housing so i've had to shorten it so i'll shorten both pedals so we've got full range of movement in there so let's fire up the welder we'll stick that on and um, we're nearly ready to strip this whole thing down flip it upside down and weld everything underneath let's go now there's nothing wrong with doing a weld on something like this just make sure you've got really good penetration and um, giving it a nice V where the weld's going to be is going to assist with some decent stickage Righto, there you go. We have some shortened pedals. They're not going to go all the way down there. That's well past the floor height. And we've got um, our linkage. We can just set straight up to that pedal there for the clutch. So that's going to work. I can bolt a master cylinder this side for the brake. That's sorted out now, which is awesome. And pretty much the last thing I've had to do to this chassis for the initial mock-up, which is pretty cool. Little update on the interior. I don't know what you can see there. The sun's shining right in my face. But I found myself a little bench seat. I think it was out of a VW or something. Um, got to cut these armrests off. A little bit of modifications, but that's going to work really, really well. It's a bit fancy as far as the, the colour goes, but we're going to do something with that. You'll see what we do later on. But that's the seat. And um, we can start blowing this thing apart. 
so that's it from me today it's only going to be a short one little update um, we'll get back into it we're getting back into it um, this is a little memorial I did for Mutley in my backyard her kennel one of them is just around the corner there and um, yeah it's just a spot that uh, my love of cars and my love of dogs and she was my my car dog and um, an old 35 Ford Y wheel a couple of her toys she used to love playing with these um, these are those things they put under the concrete to hold the Rio up and when I had my slab done in my house she just went nuts for these so the concreter gave me a box of them and that was the very last one I had from all those years ago and um, I only gave her that I don't know a couple of months ago yeah she used to play with that and then one of her old bones down here um, but yeah so anyway a little tribute to her that's it from me stay tuned be good to your mates like subscribe all that stuff and I'll see you on the next one Cheers.